And as you can see on this side, we have a hollow model. Now let's poly extrude this. This will be our tail here. Go back to our select tool and select primitives. Let's grab our panel, our, our primitive right there, and poly extrude that one. And we'll bring this up like this. And we'll bring it back. And we'll scale it in. Like so. Now we have our little tail there. Let's go ahead and delete that. Blast that out of there. Select it and hit delete node. As you can see, when I do that, it added a blast node over here. Well, now we've got our little tail feather now. So now let's make our thrusters right here. Let's go back to our select tool and we'll select this primitive. And we'll poly extrude. And we'll bring this out a little bit. We'll bring it in. Like so. Hit the Q key to poly extrude again and I'm going to scale it down. Hit the Q key to poly extrude again and I'm going to take it back like this. And now we have this little thruster. Okay. Now it looks like we need to do our wings. So, let's zoom around here and get a good position here. And select our primitives here. And let's poly extrude these. About like that and I'll tilt it down a little hit the Q key to um, poly extrude again let's bring this out like this we'll scale it in now as you can see when I do this they're not staying together so we need to go up here under the key point shared go average positions there we go now we can take this and work on this a little more. Scale it back like this. Scale it down. Let's hit the Q key and poly extrude one more time and bring another little one out like this. We will shrink it down more and angle it down a little bit. Now we have this basic shape of a wing here. Okay, so now, what do we need to do now? Let us go ahead and make the other side. So, I'm going to select the whole thing, like that. Go to the modify shelf and click the mirror button. Boom. Now we have our little model here but as you can see we got a few little blemishes here little hiccups right, right here we need to fix that and we can do that no problem let me zoom in let's go back to our selection tool this time I'm going to pick points now as you can see my points are highlighted I want to select this point hold the shift key and select this point and I'm going to go to my polygon shelf and hit fuse and it's going to fuse them together. Then under my fuse distance, I'm going to go in here and raise it until they snap together like that. Let's go around to the other side. And let's grab this point. Hold the shift key at that point. Let's fuse these also. Like that. Now we need to go in here and select these points and we need to transform these points like that so let's pull this over towards in the middle and then we'll take these edges in like so
Okay. Now, it looks like we got a pretty decent model here. Let's go ahead and select everything. Let's make sure we have our primitives selected. Select everything and let's poly bevel it. Let's go back to smooth shaded. Now we have this basic beginner model of this jet. As you can see, all that was created from a little box. Not too bad. Now in future videos we can go on with this model and add more detail and go on and on and on until we're finished. You know, you're going to have to add textures and it's just far from done. I just wanted to go over the basic simple structure of how you would get a basic model going. That's a little bit more advanced than my last video. And we're going to try and take this in steps. So um, here is our basic jet that we've modeled. Just to get a rough idea of where we're going. And... Um, I hope you can watch this a couple times and learn how I've used the poly extrude and the poly split to uh, split my model up and, and stuff like that. And I know I didn't explain it too well as I was going because I just don't have the time. If I'm really going to get into it, explain it, it's going to take 30 to 45 minutes and it's just not practical for YouTube. But if you guys want me to, I can do a few videos and post them on my website. Um, it's really up to you, so I hope you've really took something from this, or at least uh, set you in the right direction. I really appreciate you guys watching and tuning in, and uh, I hope you come back for the next one. See you next time.